What's going on, everybody? All right, I wanted to uh, put something out there for people to understand the big picture of XRP Ripple. Because they're like, oh, the price is down. I am so fucking happy. You have no idea. Look, I'll give you an example. How many XRP? How many XRP could I get with this worthless $100 bill? Think about that for a second. How many XRP tokens can I get with this worthless dollar bill? Well, if it keeps dropping more and more and more. Do you understand that this is freaking worthless? There's people on YouTube, they flash, oh my God, look, I got, that's, this, this, is, this is a diminishing asset, this is nothing. This is, this, is, this is nothing but a bunch of fibers with a bunch of ink on it, backed by nothing, tied to a bankrupt government, connected to a shady market, attached to and stored in banks that are on watch lists and being downgraded, tied to a consumer base that is highly leveraged on credit card debt, refinance debt, auto debt, student loan debt, everything. This is worthless. But I get to turn it into something that has value. Let me just tell you what that is. And with Ripple Labs, and Ripple is a payment software company. Uh, we're actually a crypto solutions company for businesses, and our flagship product is a payment software called RippleNet and ODL, which offers payment providers an alternative to SWIFT and then the correspondent banking system. We build all our solutions on top of XRPL and XRP Ledger is a decentralized blockchain permissionless, been around for over 10 years. RippleNet today is facilitating over $15 billion a year of payment flow uh, and using XRP, which was recently deemed not a security by the U.S. courts. A good example of, of a product is one that actually gets these institutions in there, right? That, you know, retail crypto is what? One trillion, two trillion right now in market cap? The global financial world, FX, trades five trillion dollars a day, right? Just to put that into perspective. Five. So we are so early and so small. Uh, that we really need to, to, to bring crypto and blockchain to the next level is getting those institutions in. And it's really solving a lot of those issues that they have around compliance. How do you get comfortable as an institution to interact in with these assets, with this technology, in a way that doesn't get you in trouble? Well, certainly regulatory. Think about that. So it comes down to what doesn't get you in trouble with the regulators. But do you understand that right now, what XRP is moving is nothing. It's mostly pilot programs, CBDC, um, creation, a couple of remittance payments. I mean, India just did their payment to UAE. I mean, things like that, you know, for oil. But remember something, keep this in mind. What is this token going to look like when it's taking 10, 20% of that $5 trillion market? You understand? That's where you'll have the friction. That's where you'll have the price jump up. I don't care. People are like, oh, yeah, XRP, yeah. You hold on to this worthless money. We'll see who's crying at a freaking homeless shelter at the end.